You guys are out here on the heels of the attempted Trump assassination. Um, can I get your reaction to what happened the other day? Well, it's a shame the person missed, but um, it's ironic that the shooter was also a Republican, and I am scared about political violence. You're scared of political violence, but you th was you were hoping that he wouldn't have missed. Yes. Wow. Could, could you elaborate on that? I mean, many people are thankful that the shooter missed and could have led to a lot of conflict in the country. Regardless if Trump is in power or not, he has a lot of influence, and that makes him a very dangerous person, and nothing will stop. Hey guys, my name is Devore Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, this is actually a video I've been wanting to do for a while. I wanted to wait. I wanted to, you know, let all of the reactions come in. But this is going to be a response to other people's reaction to the failed assassination attempt on President Trump. And the people that I am talking about are people who are absolutely deranged. And why am I doing this video? I'm not doing this video to make fun of people. I'm actually doing this video just to show the mindset of America and how some people actually think and how good it is sometimes to look in the mirror and make sure you are not doing things this way. Now, if this had happened to President Biden, I would not be hoping that it was successful. If it happened to Kamala Harris, Nancy Pelosi, anybody that I have a disagreement with, especially when it comes to policies or even their attitude or character, I would not wish death upon them, right? Because I, I already know we're all the same, right? We're all God's children at the end of the day. And I don't believe that's what he would want. So, you know, we are going to look at these clips. We're going to read a lot of uh, uh, X posts that came out and showing people and their reaction and just kind of the blowback from it on both sides. Because although there were people that have been called out, some people actually lost their jobs because of this, some people have been censored, some people have been demonetized. So we're going to get into all of this, break it all down. You already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's play the video. Thomas Jefferson wrote a letter that included one of my favorite quotes, that sometimes the tree of liberty needs to be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Do you hope to see others? All hold on, hold on. So... Let, let's let's have a conversation about that. Are, are, what, what do you mean with the blood of patriots and tyrants? With the blood of patriots and tyrants. So, so there needs to be what some assassination attempts that are successful, right? I mean, I I, I love I actually love that quote. I, I would love to debate over that and really understand what he meant by that. I, I really would. So, if all that holds true, do you want to see others try what this young man tried at the Trump rally? Hmm. I don't know if it would do any good. Okay. Oh, not even a no. Like, she's cool with it, right? She's cool with, or whatever her pronouns are, because they could be anything based on the way she's her appearance uh, is leading me to believe. Uh, it, she, so she's cool with it. It just depends on what would work in her best interest based on her belief system, right? Interesting, yeah. I see you have a crossbow over here. Can you tell me a little bit more about it and why you decided to bring it here? Um, you have a, I don't know what it is. It looks like a crossbow. Yeah, it, it's a pistol crossbow. I don't like firearms. This is a much safer alternative, and it's used only for personal defense as an absolute last resort. Wow. 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 And... People who support Trump or people who are conservatives or people who are Republicans are violent and dangerous and they're a threat to this country. But then we see people doing stuff like this. We haven't even gotten into what people are saying on X about this. I just thought this would be something to look at so you can see the mindset of people in this country and make sure that you're not going down this path. OK, because clearly she's not able to be objectively true about anything. Right. It's based on her belief system that clearly is skewed, uh, especially when we're talking politics. And, um, you know, she's sitting there with a mask. I mean, I'm not going to get into that right now because we already know that whole story. But uh, let's actually check out some clips on X. 
I mean, it's a little weird, you know, that this is America and shooters don't miss unless they're hired to. People often flee the scene of a shooting, but these people did not. Instead, they crouched down, not enough to protect themselves, just enough so they could keep recording. And when they saw that the Cheeto Puff was okay, they erupted into applause and the Secret Service still did not rush him off the stage because there was no active threat perceived, even though it had not been declared that the shooter had been apprehended. And I'm just wondering something that I can't say out loud. <laughs> well, you know, your appearance says a lot out loud. I mean, like your nails i mean that's a whole nother thing <laughs> i don't know why women think that is beauty or that is a good thing to do their nails in that way i mean if they really spent one day as men uh they would realize they should just stop doing that that that's number one number two clearly she's drinking hopefully it's a mocktail it's probably not it's probably alcohol and number three it just shows you how caught up people are in politics in their way of thinking again i i used to actually hate politics i was not a fan of it but it's actually engaging it's a great way to truly debate and understand why people think the way that they do but i don't believe it's for us to act like her and obviously support someone being assassinated right and that's where the the line is crossed for me now let's go ahead and check out some of these other takes that people have um and you know it here's a good one and i just want to bring this to your guys' attention because remember this is what the media loves to do they love to say that conservatives and trump supporters are violent but think of this i haven't seen a single post wishing for COVID to end joe biden's life we are not the same this is absolutely true right this is absolutely true i hope he makes a full recovery i i it's like sports right donald trump and president biden i want you guys to look at it from a sports analogy i don't want to get to the super bowl and one team doesn't really show up and they get blown out 40 to 0 in the first quarter no one likes that right even in the ufc it's cool to see people get knocked out but not in the first 6 seconds of the fight can we, can we make it competitive? Can we get to round two, round three at least? Or in, in, in the Super Bowl, can we can, can it be tied and going into the fourth quarter? People want to see competitiveness. They want to see uh, people give their best, right? And that's not what's happening right now leading up to this election. Joe Biden is not at his best, right? And so I don't wish him to continue to be this way i want them I, I now i want him to continue running because you know it's a silver lining but i digress let's check out some other uh, uh posts here and a lot of this um or some of it is by two accounts bipoc doing racism uh is one account and libs of tiktok is another let me do bipoc doing racism because i, I really love <laughs> i think their posts are actually funny bipoc doing racism in case for the people in the back that don't know what that is you know that is black indigenous people of color okay but they're doing racist things um and again there goes that other label right they always have to have a label for somebody uh this country was built on violence of fragile insecure white people right let's see here let's Let's zoom out for you guys. So you guys can see this clearly. There we go. Uh, this country was built on the violence of fragile, insecure white people. Slavery, mass shootings, rape, etc. Inner city shootings have nothing on you animalistic snow roaches. Got it. Not too sure I understand what she was getting at. Uh, but we'll keep moving here. Oh, what about the whole Jack Black situation, right? So Jack Black, he was doing a tour. with. It's called the tenacious detour and um so and i guess his partner who's part of the band it was his birthday so jack black actually asked him hey before you blow out the candles what do you you know what, what make a wish right and uh his partner said he wishes uh, that the shooter didn't miss and as a result jack black had to cancel the tour um because of this re because of it, it's just crazy. Matter of fact, let me play that clip for you. Happy birthday, Jim. Make a wish, Canada. Don't miss Trump next time. Oh. 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 Thank you. Oh, right. So you guys seen that, right? So I mean. Listen, you know, you got to read the room, of course, and you got to know where there's boundaries, right? And and even 
uh, listen, this is just mindset one-on-one. Boundaries are very healthy, right? Boundaries are necessary. Law and order is necessary. Um, one of my mentors uh, when it comes to personal development was Bob Proctor. Still is. He's dead and gone now. Amazing person. And he used to say that heaven's first law is order. There is an orderly fashion to doing things, right? And there is an orderly way to debate in this country, to disagree in this country. That wouldn't be, that would not be it, right? That wouldn't be it. So, you know, I think they did the right thing, canceled the tour because they knew it was going to continue to um, draw more attention to themselves that they didn't want. And that, you know, that's what really a lot of these uh, leftists are going through right now. And uh, let's get into showing you more of that. So, for example, this guy, Meet Rick Notary. Let me zoom in for you guys because this, you're not going to be able to see it clearly. There we go. So this guy, uh, he's a community outreach manager um, for Lack County, and uh, he's a government employee, of course. And let's actually read what he put. All right, thank you to the heroes of the Secret Service who threw themselves into what appeared to be a hail of bullets. Find whoever did this and prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. Then he responds and says, it's a shame the guy missed. Wow. Let's take a look at this clown and what he actually looks like. Yeah, there he is. You know? And so re remember, these are the same people that really do believe that Donald Trump incited a riot during January 6th and that he is guilty of an insurrection. These are the same people. But then they become the very thing that they're claiming Trump is, right? And this is what we have to pay attention to. This is why mindset is very important because if you give your negative energy to another person, you complain about them, you bitch about them, you criticize them all day long, everything about your life is them. You become them, basically, right? That's that's what ends up happening. So let, let's check out this other person, professor at Wingate University, North Carolina, is no longer employed. So this is where uh, Libs of TikTok actually got a lot of backlash as well because they started to do what? They found the posts of what these people were saying, and then they um, they would tag their job in a post on X or uh, Facebook to get the person's job's attention, and um, so did other people. And what ends up happening is some of, some of these people, their bosses or or the university or the organization, had to put out a statement and and you know firing these people. So uh, let, let's check out what happened with her. Uh, this is a professor at Wingate. I'm begging y'all to care like this when it's a third grade classroom instead of an ear. And then uh, if you look at the bottom right, let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. How this kid missed is ridiculous. Right. And a lot of people came back and started to argue and say, hey, you're doxing them. Right. Um, when no, we're not, because this is all public information. Doxing is when you release private information on the internet, causing people to contact this person, right? So like their personal number would be an example when their number was never on social media or the internet whatsoever. That would be a thing or somebody's social security number. But this person's publicly on social media, publicly commenting. So uh, there was no real doxing um, in that situation. It says, uh, Kristen Johnson, okay, although we can't discuss personal matters in detail, this professor is no longer employed at this university. So maybe the, the person resigned or quit um, or was just blatantly fired. Uh, either way, um, that person is gone. All right, let's take a look at a couple of more um, that I think are crazy here. Um, yeah, here, here's another one. Um, you know, it, it just is a sad thing in this country when people are actually acting this way, right? Um, this person said, same, wish they had a better scope, right? Too bad it didn't hit him square. And this was a captain in the city department of the, I don't know what that is. Huh. Oh, it was the fire department. So somebody from the fire department named Tony is the one that, um, posted this. So... 
I mean, we could go on and on and on about this stuff, which I think is is crazy. I mean, I just it just goes on and on and on. It's a shame they miss. Better luck next time. If we are lucky, the next guy is a better shot, right? Um, this is the effing retard that got killed at the Trump rally. We already had a video on that. Damn, if he didn't die, well, at least one supporter did. Uh, let's see here. Bum, they missed. All right. Uh, this is a real estate agent. She ended up saying, what she ended up saying here? Not too sure I could see this. She said, oh, it is sad that a 20-year-old ended his life for Donald J. Trump. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So, yeah, I mean, guys, we could, this right here, that list, it goes on and on and on. I can only show you so much in one video, right? And so I, I wanted to do this video to show you guys that there are people in your life, people you work with, people you're associated with, um, that are this deranged, right? And they do wish violence upon other people. They may not say it so blatantly like that, but they do. And quite frankly, is it fair to say that on both sides of the political conversation in America, inciting violence exists? Absolutely. It does, for sure. But I don't believe we've seen it at this level from the right. So conservatives or people like that who support Trump, I haven't seen you know, quotes like that over and over and over and over again where they're losing their jobs and and even the people they work for are having to say, oh, OK, hold on. We have to stop here. Right. I have not seen that. Right. This right here is a, uh, is just an embarrassment. Right. There are people literally thinking this way and wanting that assassin to be successful, even though he already had killed one person. Right. And so you have to really guard your mind and do not allow the media or any politician or anyone to get you to cross that boundary of common sense, common decency, by the way, or just being a reasonable person. We can disagree, but I'm not going to wish death upon you, right? I'm not going to do that. You shouldn't do it either. We're all God's children at the end of the day. So I just want to show you guys what's really going on out there, uh, not for you to dwell in it, but just just you have to keep your distance from people who do things like that. That's not good energy to be around. Okay. That's just facts. It just isn't right. So that's my mindset about this. I want to hear from you. What is your mindset? What do you think about these takes? And what do you think about what people have been reacting about the failed assassination tip on president Trump? Uh, why don't you answer this and more in the comment section below? Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.